What is up you guys? It's Peruta Mio over here, a long time no see. Yes, Perutons, based on the title of this video, we are going to be making pancakes. Do you like pancakes? I do too. And guess what? I have not only had American pancakes, but I have also had Venezuelan style pancakes. And you want to know what the twist is? Cornbread meets pancake. And they are so good, super delicious. Back in my home country, they are known as cachapas. In Colombia, which I'm also part Colombian, they are known as chocolo. I'm very excited to share this recipe with you guys. And it's not just because it's part of my roots, but also the fact that I'm seeing a lot of corn because fall is beginning to arrive. So I was reminded of this wonderful recipe and I wanted to share this with you guys. And as always, everything that you guys will need will be down below. If you are new to Proton Mila, welcome to Proton Mila. Feel free to subscribe down below and also pressing at the bell at the top so you can be up to date with everything. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And you know what, guys? We should get started. Are you ready? One, two, three. As you guys know, I love giving you guys a visual representation of what you all will need. In addition to what you see here, you guys will also be needing half a cup of water. All right, guys, let's get started. As you can tell, yes, I have already blended the corn kernels together with the half a cup of water, and I can finally start making this pancake mix, AKA cachapa mix. As you already saw, I have added my sugar, specifically the sugar that I added is actually dehydrated sugar cane. This is a very popular form of sugar that Venezuelans love to use. And honestly, it's actually a lot healthier because it is less processed than your usual sugar. Adding on to what I just talked about sugar, you don't necessarily need to use sugar. I mean, the corn already has some sort of sweetness to it, but the essence of a cachapa is having some sort of sweetness to it in addition to that sweet corn. But yeah, definitely feel free to use or not use sugar at all. After you have added all of your ingredients, you're going to continuously mix so that all of these ingredients come together into one so you can finally start making your cachapas. Now that our mix is ready, we can turn our stove to medium heat. After you have turned on your stove, you are going to take the pan of your choosing. You can make cachapas as big as you would like, but they are easier to flip the smaller that they are because they are made of corn. So I have chosen this six inch pan and obviously we're going to be adding our butter so that our mix does not stick to the pan. In case you're wondering, this is going to make a total of seven cachapas with the size of pan that I'm currently using. Obviously, it's going to vary depending on the pan that you use. So after your butter has melted, you are going to spread it around so we can finally get ready to add our cachapa mix. All right, now that we are happy with the spread of butter that we have done, we can finally add our mix. And this was about half a cup of mix that I utilized. I then decided to use less because the thinner the cachapa, the easier it is to flip. And you will learn if you decide to make this recipe, which I hope you do because this is so good. As you can tell, I am using a spatula to give my cachapa that circular shape that it should have. So use it to your advantage, friends. So if you are a little bit on the impatient side, which I don't blame you because I can be like that, you can definitely put a lid on this so you can make the cooking a lot faster. But as soon as you see the golden ring around the cachapa, my friends, you are ready to flip this cachapa. And in case you were wondering, it took me about five to seven minutes to cook the very first side of the cachapa. Remember that you are using corn. I mean, obviously this is like a chapa and it needs to be made of corn, but heads up, they can be a little bit, you know, of a challenge when it comes to flipping. But if I can do it, I am sure you guys can do it as well. And heads up, and if it doesn't turn as pretty, just use your flipper to its advantage so you can get the desired look that you would like. After being flipped, this is going to be cooking for about two to three minutes. After that, we can finally start utilizing our stuffing. And down below in the description box, I have added ideas as to what to add. If you are a cheese lover, you are going to definitely love this recipe. In addition to that, if you love cornbread in addition to pancakes, this is definitely something that you would love. The cachapa can be eaten anytime you would like. And in addition, it's made to be eaten alone with the cheese, but I've made small ones, so I pair them with a the salad and pork. This was such a treat to make because it had been a hot minute and I had been craving cachapas for quite a while. So I'm so excited to have made it for you. I hope you try it out. Thank you so much for sticking around. And you know what? I will see you guys on the next video.